A time. Shh. A time t seconds. The rate of a spherical balloon is r. The balloon is being inflated. So the rate of increase of its radius is inversely proportional to the square root of its radius. And then we're given some uh, information. So the first thing is we've got to interpret what's been said here. The rate of increase of its radius. That's the rate of increase of its radius. So one mark is for writing dr by dt in here. Now it's inversely proportional. That means one over. The and k. We need to multiply by k as our cost of proportionality over the square root of the radius. So we've got two marks just for setting up this differential equation. Um, solve it to express r in terms of t. Notice it says to express r. We need to actually have r equals at the end of this. So how do we solve uh, one of these equations? Well, well, actually the first thing that we notice here is, look, when t is 5, r is 9, and at that instant the rate, the radius is increasing at 1.08. So before we do anything else, we could find out what k is, but we'll, we'll work through this from here. We've got root r, dr by dt, this is to separate the variables and integrate. If we integrate r to the half, we have r to 3 over 2. Divide by 3 over 2, so that's 2 thirds. That is kt plus c. Now, think about what else we know here. We know that when r equals 9, the rate of increase is 1.08. So if r equals 9, the r by dt is 1.08. So that's 1.08 is k over root r over root 9, so k over 3. So k is 3 times 1.08. So we've got k straight away. So this equation now says 2r to 3 over 2 over 3 is 3.24t plus c. We were also initially told that when r was 9, t was 5. So that means 2 times 9 to the power of 3 over 2, that is um, 27, over 3 is 3.24 times 5 plus c. Now working through all of that I think gives us c is 1.8, was that right? Yeah. Um, from there. So altogether. 2 thirds of r to 3 over 2 is 3.24t plus 1.8. Now we've done all the hard work, but the question did say express r in terms of t. So we need to turn this into r equals before we can finish. So we multiply by uh, 3 over 2 times by 3, divide by 2, we get 4.86t plus 2.7, and then that means that is 4.86t plus 2.7 to the power of 2 thirds. It was a little bit mean, and it was just one mark at the end of this for getting our equals, but that's a bit harsh, isn't it, to have to do that. It feels that you've done all the difficult stuff. How much air is in the balloon initially? Only two marks at the end of this. Um, but this notice this is this about volume. We're given the formula for volume. So what we need to know is what is the radius initially. Um, so when t equals zero, r is 4.86 times zero plus 2.7 to the power of two thirds, and that is well, it's 2.7. All of that in the middle there, isn't it? To the power of two thirds. So that's our initial value of R. And the volume is, what did it say? One third, four thirds power cubed. So we've got four thirds times pi times R cubed, which gives us 2.7 squared. And this was very nicely 243 over 25. 
high, which I think is acceptable. That's about 30.5 centimetres cubed. <laughs> 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 <laughs>